on January 30th, 2020, the World Health Organization declared the COVID-19 outbreak a global health public emergency. Many countries attempted to slow or stop the spread of the coronavirus through education, lockdown mandates, and creating a new normal, including social distance, the usage of masks, and embracing a virtual world. As of March 2023, the pandemic has caused more than 676 million cases and 6.88 million confirmed deaths, making it one of the deadliest pandemics in history. I remember waking up and the world was no longer the same. At first, I remember how I enjoyed the silence of the city. I remember how I greeted time like it was an old friend, welcoming it back into my home, offering it a cup of tea as we chatted about all of the past promises I'd become too busy to keep and say and do. I remember how in the mornings this childlike fascination to dance in the middle of the street on the yellow lines as if they were balance beams would wash over me because the cars had stopped. The world had stopped, and I could finally breathe. But when breath is the catalyst to suffering, at what point does the fight for oxygen become a lonely cage? When alone becomes survival, when anxiety becomes survival, when time no longer feels like an old friend, rather a countdown to a long, jittery wait for the bad storm that struck the neighbor next door and the city next door and the country next door. And when all of the, the homes are broken, and when all of the people are now cracked, the debris feels different because when we've lost so much, at what point is it no longer a disaster? This is the marking of a moment in history. How do we celebrate even when the loss weighs more? When a virus that does not discriminate is the only only reminder that we need each other more than we ever thought. To come together across the planet to save lives. To come together across gender and race and age to save lives. To work in the balance of triumph and tragedy. To raise your face shield and come face to face with battle. To prevent the enemy from multiplying. To prevent the enemy from taking one more. To rebuild this world, we needed to heal. We needed to stop, to be still, to sit with the pain, the grief, the tears, the joy, the isolation, all of the feelings we have distracted ourselves from feeling. We needed to sit with the starvation for touch, for laughter, for eye contact, for each other. We needed to sit with this reminder that, that we need each other. We're sitting next to one another right now. How amazing and beautiful that is. We needed to remember that to breathe again, we need each other. Thank you.